Hello, my name is Isabel Bortone, and I'm a pediatric ophthalmologist with Thomas Eye Group in Atlanta. Today, I'll be sharing some preliminary data that our practice has put together since we started implementing the CureSight system a little under a year ago. So in our PTO group, we have 12 patients. In our CureSight group, we have 15 patients. And all of these patients are within the recommended parameters put forth by CureSight. Um, the average age for our PTO group Group and our cure site group is similar, 6.7 versus 7.3 years old. Um, we overall have low numbers of patients who are doing atropine therapy, so those patients were excluded. And then the way in which we chose our PTO control group was by going back in time about a year from the time when we were seeing the cure site patients and looking to see which patients we were newly starting part-time occlusion therapy with. The average duration of treatments for our PTO group is a little bit longer than for our cure site group, but on average about six months for both groups. The average daily treatment time for our PTO group is 1.8 hours for our cure site group, a little under an hour, although we do recommend for all of our cure site patients to use the system for an hour and a half, as is recommended by cure site. In outcomes, we see that our cure site patients did have more improvement in their vision when we look at the average improvement in lines. And here's the same data um, presented in a different format. So we see with our PTO group um, that we did have an improvement. However, we have a more rapid improvement with our cure site group. And with the cure site data, we were able to look up uh, to 10 months. With our PTO group, we have a little bit more data for a total of 12 months. And now I'd like to go over some case studies um, for patients who we've treated with CureSight over at Thomas Eye Group. So our first patient pre-therapy with correction was 2030 minus two. They had a history of patching two hours per day for about four months, but didn't have really much improvement in vision within starting CureSight for five months at an hour per day and uh, vision improved to 2025 plus one. Our second patient was eight years old and treatment naive. Pre-therapy was 2030. They started CureSight at 0.8 hours per day for three months and improved to 2025 plus two. Our next patient started off at 2060 plus two corrected vision. They had a long history of patching. They patched for two hours per day for 10 months and did improve, but plateaued at 2040 plus one. They then um, tried cure site therapy um, and got to 2025 minus two with using a little less than one hour per day for five months. And our last patient, another eight-year-old who is treatment naive, started off at 2040 plus two vision. They used CureSight for an hour per day um, and improved to 2025 minus two after five months. They used for an additional three months for a total of eight months of treatment and then improved to 2020 minus two using one hour per day. In terms of follow-up, 48% of our PTO patients have return visits scheduled. 90% of our cure site patients have return visits scheduled. That's pretty interesting because we do encourage all of our patients when they're checking out to make their next appointment. Overall, in our practice, we have 120 cure site referrals. That's among four pediatric ophthalmologists, two pediatric optometrists. 35 of those patients are currently active. Five patients are pending, waiting to be set up for cure site. 61, uh, 61 patients have completed treatment, so that includes patients who have both um, had great results and we weaned off of treatment, and also patients who trialed cure site, but it didn't quite work for their lifestyle and they discontinued. And 19 of the patients, although they initially showed an interest in cure site, ended up not being able to be reached and um, cure site was not initiated with them. Um, so our study limitations, obviously we have a pretty small sample size in the future. Um, for larger studies, we definitely want to have a more robust method for choosing our control groups. Um, for follow-up visits, our part-time occlusion therapy patients do have a little bit um, 
longer uh, follow-up timeline. So on average, they have one or two visits more than our cure site patients do for comparison. And then when it comes to compliance, the great thing about cure site is you know exactly how long the patient is using the device for daily. Um, but with part-time occlusion therapy and patching, we really can only go by what the patient's telling us. So it's hard sometimes to tell with patching if um, a lack of improvement um, is truly due to the patching not working or if the patient isn't being fully compliant with the amount of time that's recommended for patching. I think that overall we've had great results with CureSight in our practice. Um, I think our patients who are on CureSight definitely enjoy having that option that works great with their lifestyle and I also enjoy giving patients um, options aside from atropine therapy and part-time occlusion.